India's long-term naval blueprint envisions a three-carrier doctrine, one carrier each for the eastern and western seaboards, and one in reserve refit. The next step is INS Vishal, IAS-2, a proposed 65,000-plus ton carrier with Cato Bar or even EMOS systems. Crucially, discussions have centered on making Vishal nuclear-powered, giving it unlimited endurance at sea, power to support advanced launch systems, ability to field UAVs, AWACS, and next-gen fighters. The U.S. has shown willingness to share EMOS technology under defense cooperation frameworks. If realized, India's nuclear carrier would rival the most advanced navies in the world. But hurdles remain. Cost estimates of 90,000 plus crore. Balancing submarines versus carriers in naval spending. Developing nuclear propulsion domestically. China is not waiting. Its Fujian carrier already surpasses India's current fleet. Future Chinese carriers may even be nuclear powered. India's answer cannot be in numbers, it must be in capability, doctrine, and alliances. A single Indian carrier strike group, fully networked with P-8I surveillance aircraft, Arihant-class SSBNs, and satellites, can dominate the Indian Ocean choke points. Integration with Quad Navies, US, Japan, Australia, enhances deterrence. The race is not just about carriers, but about shaping the maritime order of the Indo-Pacific. What will fly off India's nuclear carriers? MiG-29Ks will phase out. TED-BF, twin-engine deck-based fighter, under development by HAL and AEA, will be the workhorse. Unmanned combat drones, carrier-borne UAVs are also on the horizon. Integration of AWACS platforms with EMALS will extend carrier strike ranges dramatically. India is not just building carriers, it is shaping an ecosystem of naval aviation. By the late 2030s, India could operate three to four aircraft carriers, two conventional, one two nuclear. Carrier strike groups with destroyers, frigates, nuclear subs, and logistics ships. Indigenous naval fighters and UAVs. This would place India firmly in the league of blue water navies, able to project power from the Persian Gulf to the Pacific. For India, nuclear carriers are not about prestige. They are about ensuring that sea lanes remain free, regional balance is maintained, and India's voice is heard in global strategy. As we look ahead, one truth stands out. Aircraft carriers are not just platforms of war, they are platforms of national ambition. From Vikrant's daring blockade in 1971 to the indigenous leap of IAC-1, 